Abby. Oh, come on. Abby. Hi, come in. What are you doing here? The message you sent last night, I didn't get it till this morning. Okay, well, when I sent that message and told you I missed you, I didn't mean that you had to rush over here in the freezing cold at the crack of dawn. I did have to because I couldn't wait another minute to see you. That's so sweet. I need to tell you something, Abby. Okay, is, is everything all right? I just need to get this off my chest. <laughs> You're starting to make me nervous. Did something happen? Abby, I love you. Say something, please. <laughs> I'm just surprised, but but so happy. I'm just, <laughs> just wondering why are you telling me this now? Well, because it's true, and I, just, I don't want to keep pretending it's not. Good answer. Abby, last night I couldn't sleep. So many things were running through my mind. The choices I've made, why I act the way I do. Tell me. A lot of times I think, you know, it's, it's because I'm afraid. Scared of getting hurt. That's why I keep things so casual, you know, at a safe distance. I've seen way too many train wrecks and I lived one. Every time I see my parents' wedding photo, I wonder how those two people, those two young, smiling, happy people could end up so broken and miserable and bitter. The way my father could hurt my mother so easily, it's like breathing to him. That's my biggest fear. I don't want to turn into him. I don't want to be that guy. Hey, you are not him. I know you. You're not capable of that. You would never hurt me that way. When Dina forgets where her room is, things can spiral quickly, so I'm sorry about that. <laughs> you never have to apologize for taking care of family. That's another thing I love about you. You see family as something that fortifies you, makes you stronger. And you don't? I'd like to, but for me, it's always my family creating the whole of my life instead of fitting it. I think that's one of the reasons why I balked when you tried to patch things up between me and Ray. I didn't realize how complicated things were between the two of you. The situation with Mia, your relationship with her. I... Having an affair with Mia was the biggest mistake of my life. Hey, you don't have to explain. I want to. See, what we had was exciting, but we were so young. It was immature and dramatic and so unhealthy when I look back on it. But it was kind of the only thing I knew, so in a way it was safe for me. And I think I fell back into it a few years later because I was always afraid to want more. I didn't think I deserved better. It's over now. You have to stop punishing yourself. I want to. Why don't you... I know I've said it before, that I want to leave the past behind me, and I've told myself that I want to live differently, but didn't. But last night, something changed, Abby, and it's because of you. I'm not scared anymore. I see the future I want with the woman I love. And that's why I came here way too early, because I want that future to start now. 